Hey y'all, we're gonna go ahead and make some smothered pork chops. So here in my cast iron, I got two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna put about two tablespoons of bacon up here in our pan. And we're gonna season our pork chops up and we're gonna get our cast iron heated up and get the melted butter and bacon grease all melted down. Now, so I got four bone-in pork chops here. We're going to season it with some salt and pepper and some Cajun seasoning of your choice on each side. So let's get some pepper on there. And then let's get some salt. And then some Cajun seasoning, again, of your choice. And we're going to flip them and season the other side if everybody can like and share that would be greatly appreciated i have family cookbooks that are available i will put the link above and below in the comments and it tells you ways that you can order that let me go ahead and get some tongs so i can flip this over all right so let's go ahead and flip them over and we're going to season this side as well Got the pepper and then some salt, and we're going to sear these about three minutes on each side just to get them a little brown, and then we're going to pull them out and we're going to make a gravy. All right. So once your pan's good and hot, you want to go ahead and add your pork chops in there. And you want to leave it undisturbed for about three minutes and let them cook for about three minutes. And then we will flip them. To get a good sear on both sides, go ahead and take them and put them on a plate and tint some foil around them lightly and set them to the side. So now you want to add in one onion that you've made into about half a moon. So about one large onion. We're going to go ahead and add that in here. And we're going to scrape up all those brown bits in the bottom of our pan because that's all flavor. And we're going to let these cook up just a little bit. So you want to cook your onions it's probably about like 10-15 minutes and as you can see all the brown bits came off the bottom of the pan so you're going to need about a quarter of a cup of flour here in just a little bit once we soften these onions up just a little bit more now let's go ahead and add in our quarter of a cup of flour we're going to stir this around and let this cook and you want this on kind of a low heat and you want this to cook for about two minutes with the flour, but you just want to keep stirring it around. After about two minutes, you're going to slowly start adding in your chicken stock. And you're going to need one and a half cups of your chicken stock. Okay. But you just want to add it real slow. Just scrape all that off. Okay, and now what we're going to do is let this come back up to temperature. Give it another two minutes, and then you're going to need a half a cup of buttermilk. Before we add in our buttermilk, I'm going to add just a little bit more pepper and just a shake, shake more of Cajun seasoning. Stir that around and let's go ahead and add in the buttermilk again a half a cup and just stir it around get that all out of there let's give this another minute and then we're going to add in our pork chops back in here also I went ahead and I added my pork chops back in here and we're going to let this go ahead and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
and then it's ready to eat. And you just want to make sure you check it for more salt to your family's likings, or if you want to add more Cajun seasoning, that's completely up to you. All right, y'all, so it's all done. So give this a try. If anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, if you're on Facebook, follow us on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, follow us on Facebook. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day.